Um, after having somebody from the nutrition side, I want to uh, bring in um, who is directing a different structure. This year, this question is in front of the social media, so we go a little bit more about how can the social media become a democratic tool and what has to be used. Well, I'm Yes, I'm working on a lot of different projects using social media. And um, I'm just here to talk about some of the ways that uh, we can overcome a lot of challenges. And, um, previously, it has been a dependency on the government and national aid. We solved the problems and nowadays um, we can utilize uh, free services online. Um, anybody with a mobile phone and a laptop we can create internationally known social movements as long as we have the resource, uh, the research and uh, supporting community, we can generate uh, buzz around these causes. And so you can uh, see projects simply by Getting your friends together, getting people together to support these causes. The food is, um, this is something that I've had very good success with. Using content, online content, and um, just various platforms that we have online that are free tools like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Really, there's no Technology and programming has given us the ability to uh, have even greater power in government by uniting you know, as people. And this is something that I would like to encourage to do because I have a platform for crowdfunding and this is how I'm able to direct funds to the urgent causes. This is a way that simply by um, paying very small pieces to Wi Fi hotspots and uh, office space, you can create safe ICT centers that can be used in a variety of ways to help women and young people come together to their ideas, similar to what DHS is doing. And we're focused on rural environments. That's just an example of. What I've been able to get a lot of international support as far as following and fans, and I'm just one person. People um, helping me at various points. But young people nowadays have some, any kind of urgent issue. If it's your mother, your sister, your friend, these, you can help these causes if you really don't have to have that reliance on government and high powers to. Subjects because Indiegogo, websites like Indiegogo, platforms like my website, campaign.youngpoolmalls.org, anybody all over the world can donate to these causes. And really, this tool gives us such a, a power that has never existed before. So, this really is the age of disruptive social media content. And I think there's plenty of goals, uh, there's plenty of examples. Like the use um, everything with uh, Twitter and the ways that these social media platforms can help get information out to uh, the really causes that are happening today, despite the coverage of news and the support of government. So that's why I'm trying to bring this type of uh, this uh, mixture of Experience such as filmmaking and sort of independent journalism and web design, all these things can be used to solve the problems. More than development goals, we really take a stand to do something as a community. We um, can bring in a new era of international aid and international development can come by just coming together as a community and utilizing very basic, very simple, very accessible technology. Uh, this is not 
We're not waiting for any technology. It's all already available online. Everything is just going to be able to I want to say to you, you can upload unlimited videos on YouTube. So you can make a website for free. You can use YouTube to make thousands of hours of coverage of your issue. Through interviews, through any kind of media, through photographs. And so this in this way, um, technology has you know, brought these tools to us in very recent years. Nowadays, all of this is even becoming sort of irrelevant on many levels. We're so thrilled because a lot of things can be done online. And I think there's something of a, I don't want to say propaganda, but it's just there's some misdirection by other generations who grew up without these tools. Hard for certain people in power and governments, they don't know about you know, the real impact, they don't want to accept the um, revolutionary potential of these tools. So I think young people are very much at the root of making change happen, and it's sort of hard for older generations who have very challenging upbringing and very uh, the strict and vigorous processes to uh, obtain success in life. Now, all the things have become relevant and uh, change the world and grow as a person professionally, education wise. That's why I've been representing these subjects. Um, you can apply to my incubator fund and apply to have the uh, ICT training at my website. And that is something that my goal, as I'm saying to you, I'm also challenging myself to do something that will take many years of hard work. But at the end, if we have these goals, we work towards them, we can achieve them. And my personal goal is to invest $1 million through channeling investors from America, especially Silicon Valley, to create a fund for there are women users in Asia. The generation of girls who have Facebook yet still are facing horrible injustice through loss of human rights and all the types of forced marriage and teenage marriage. Student girls that are in my documentary I made, uh, which is one of the ways I made a documentary. These are ways that I was able to build this project with my own money, with my own supplies, my own investment. You really don't need to wait for these handouts or these investments anymore. You can do everything on your own. And it took me a while because it would have been faster had I had funding. But the way that I was able to build my company, I was sleeping in a design company in the city of Dallas and Florida, Boston, with Facebook headquarters. And this is how close you can get to these issues. I mean, you can be. Um, you just have to put yourself in the location, in the mindset of success. And um, I think I'm finally at a point where I have these, these hubs and they're coming together. We're raising money. We have support from Motorola. Uh, we have a t-shirt with American Apparel, which is raising money. I'm just saying this as an example that if you listen to your teachers in college and your parents, you'll never have the right information. You have to listen to the people in the same people. Never been able to do as much as you can today. Research and involvement in is really just changing every day, growing every day. So, um, I really encourage you to you know, connect with me if you want to you know, share more about what your personal problems are, what you are trying to do. I'm really here to call for the youth, um, especially the youth, but the youth that is exciting to me because. All is going to be a very extreme change, the dramatic polarity between the very ancient world and the very deep and the future. So, hope we can uh, journey down that path together. And I look forward to the next one. Thank you. Are there any questions you have to switch from the rather like government bodies? This is like how it should work to a very progressive approach, I would say. <laughs> Very progressive approach. I see. I just want to ask rather 
Um, maybe she kind of jerked off a little bit ago. Like, but do you have to feel in which direction you always go? I have to tell you still I don't know. Let's share with us your experience of, of 50 years of work with your social work, how do you 20 years of work with your partner, your skills, and
youth ministry now. But it is advocating with the sports ministry. Sometimes it really uh, undermined because the sports, the sports is a kind of um, popular um, or given like of this was when parts of that in that even love um, was the television, but it's something done by the any youth who are going to watch. So, even the ministry is you know about the activities and this of the compared to the sports. However, we have a separate ministry nowadays. Likewise, recently the government formulated the policy electorally, though there is a controversy between the case factors, some WHO defined up to the 24 years, between 24 years, some organizations defined 11 to 19, and Nepal government also is struggling to define the youth. Now we are considering up to the 14. So, though there is a kind of some policy in place, like Recently, the government completed uh, the uh, youth employment policy and it is in for the relaxation in the internet. So, somehow we are, we, we are in the track because of the uh, youth uh, development. But we have a very sad story to so highlight it. So he said 1500 youth are uh, going to the international airport. But the number is more than that. Because the very people use the India through the illegal process. So there are many people, many youth are going in Africa and Gulf countries and some in the Asian countries. However, they are not getting the decent work time salary. If you go to the airport or the first party, Every day, seven dead bodies uh, are coming, uh, and most of them uh, they don't have ID. Thus, last week I saw one, one news in the newspaper. The, the, uh, according to the passport, the lady has already expired in the third country, and the embassy communicated to Nepal, but she got ID. So it's, it shows that there are many illegal things is going on. And people, especially youth, are working in very difficult danger and poor poor. And currently, the people and economists are even saying, and the government claiming that they are doing very good business of the rent, of the rent. But if you see the rent, these are the rent, most of the rent is for the uh, household work. I mean, it is right, I think it's the. Uh, uh, most of the people are migrated into Kathmandu or some other cities and they are not doing any, any productive work and thus they, they are spending money for other things. According to data, only 11% uh, uh, money is used for purchasing the land, the debt alone, and education for the children. So that kind of things we are struggling. And now, this is your firm to change the identity of the Nepal. To secure land, to make the secure land in the park. But it is not easy. Yes, or highlighted. First, you have to prepare for the mindset. Whether you are ready or not, whether you put that situation or not, is very important and crucial task. You are young and you are educated, you are in city, and like other people, if you are even complaining about the government, the government, about the political party, about your parents, you will not get. And the is even after the day. Yes. If you are ready, if you, if you are ready by mindset, if you love to put yourself with a responsible student into that place, you can make this happen. That is why I want to highlight four things here. First, be prepared by mindset. Second, pass. See, it is not earning the money, but it is raising the fund. To help Nepal, she said, woman, because he has a dying dream. Passing his dying dream, a kind of Krishna in Nepali, Krishna, Vitala Sariman Sila. Vitala and Lady Kurava comes over this together. If you really have a passion, you can make it. You may from the poor family, 